And on the channel from Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we've got Alfred and Michelangelo. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Michelangelo versus Alfred, or team up with Alfred, I guess is more like it, as uh, I don't think Alfred was really fighting anybody in this movie. But once again, I have not seen this. A lot of people said it was on HBO Max. I couldn't find it for the life of me, so I still have not seen this movie yet. But we've unboxed quite a few of these figures from this series. I believe we only got one left after this week, so... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed these Ninja Turtle vs. Batman unboxings. And like I always said in the other videos, I passed on these originally, but then they went to clearance about two years ago at GameStop over 4th of July weekend. $11 a pack. Got to get a deal all day long. I said, I'm jumping in. I'm picking them up for $11. And here we are about two years later. I'm finally getting around to unboxing these bad boys. And of course, when we unbox them, we're going to do like all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, but we're used to this packaging style by now. We've got Michelangelo. Second Michelangelo in this line we've taken a look at so far. We did get the one dressed as Batman. We unboxed him. I think that was the first one we unboxed. And then, of course, we got Alfred there. Tons of accessories, as we're accustomed to with this pack as well. Been a little bit of a mixed bag with some of these figures, some better than others, but for $11, uh, definitely worth the money for sure. I don't know if 50 bucks would have been worth it for these. Not quite the same quality as the cartoon NECA Turtles uh, or the movie line NECA Turtles uh, currently. And these are, of course, DC Direct uh, figures. So there it is. There's the package there. On the side, we get a little bit of credits. We get that little bit of turtle shell action. A little light going in there. And then, of course, back here, Cross Cell Supreme. We got Shredder and Ra's al, Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul. And then uh, the other ones, we've unboxed every single one of those. And then we got that generic blurb that goes along with the movie back there. So there it is. Let's get down to it. Let's open it up out of the package. Looks like we got a skateboard with this one. And let's pull them out. See what's doing. Got that kind of turtle shell background there. Very cool. See you later off to the side. Plastic prison time. What's going on here? A lot going on. That's what's going on. We've got skateboards. We got pizza slices. We got hands. We got coffee cups. We got nunchucks. What more could you want? What more could you want? So let's pull it out. Holy cow. Accessories are plenty. You gotta be careful. Don't want them falling off the table. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Get Alfred out. And of course, Michelangelo. See you later. Off to the side. So one gripe I do have with this line is the turtles are all different sizes. I like my turtles uniform. They should be about within an inch or an inch and a half from each other. I like to get technical. We're going an inch and a half. Uh, but that's one thing that's been a little weird is Michelangelo, a very small turtle compared to Raphael Leonardo, who we saw earlier. But let's look at some of these accessories first. We'll look at the hands here for Michelangelo. You got two opened hands here for uh, crazy karate moves, if so uh, needed. You never know who you might be fighting. You might need to do that. And then, of course, we got two gripping hands, and he has two fisted hands on him. So we got all fingers of the rainbow, I guess is what we call our fists of the rainbow. Then we get two sets of nunchucks here. I like the real chain in between, a uh, real plastic chain, but still looks better than just uh, a piece of plastic or something like that. There was, we've seen some really poor ones. Go back to the Playmates days, those ones. This definitely looks better. So I like this. Uh, nice gray at the tip where it connects to the chain and down to the red handle on both of them. Very good. Very iconic for Michelangelo. We all know he's a nunchuck guy. Outside of his pizza eating habits and his just cool dude demeanor, he's got his nunchucks. And then, of course, another pizza slice. Everybody comes with a slice of pizza. But guys, why wouldn't you? Everybody loves pizza. So we got that going on right there. And then we get that same pizza slice again with Alfred. Because Alfred, even though he likes a coffee or a nice warm tea probably... Uh, he does dabble in the occasional slice of pepperoni pizza as well. So two slices of pizza there. Then we get a million hands with Alfred here. I mean, a ton of hands going on here. So we got two flayed out hands, two slapping hands. Maybe that's what Alfred might want to slap some people. So we got that going on, two of those. Uh, we got two trigger, or we got one trigger hand. Yep, one trigger hand and one gripping hand here. So we got hands there, some extra Alfred hands. And then I really like these ones. It's like he's giving the okay sign. He's giving one of those. Or is he drinking his tea with his hands up? I'm not exactly sure, but we got one for each hand, each arm right there. And then, of course, his coffee mug. 
just a plain white coffee mug. This is a great accessory. You could use this for a lot of lines. Always enjoy a coffee mug. And then we get a skateboard. Why wouldn't you? Uh, a little disappointing on the skateboard, of course. The skateboard does our, the skates do not move. It just uh, stays in place. Turtle stickers on the underside, of course. Got a nice kind of gripping uh, grayness there, and then wood on the middle. Uh, but I wish it rolled. Unfortunately, it does not. So it's not like one of those tech deck ones. But he does fit on the skateboard. So if you want to have Michelangelo skating in your display scene, hey, you're more power to you. You could easily do that. Just, just wish it rolled. That's kind of uh, not that hard to do. I don't know if it would have cost that much more money. But let's get down to the Ninja Turtle here. Let's look at Michelangelo first. Uh, what do we got going on with Michelangelo? He's got a very uh, happy smile to him. He's got his ninja braids ninja wraps from his mask hanging down one on each side looks really good smiling face big white eyes very unassuming very friendly eyes uh you know michelangelo is a chill dude just by looking at him you can tell uh, articulation you got the shoulders that go up and around all around the arms uh single jointed elbows we've talked about this elbow pad before it does look a little funny when the arm is moved out as it just kind of stands out and sticks out so it does look a little strange to me to my eyes Hands removable, of course, twist around, spin around like hands do in an action figure. Uh, no waist articulation here. He does have a spot on the side of his shell to put his nunchucks, so you can store them on here. I always appreciate being able to store on my figures. We do have double jointed knees on them. Once again, you get those kind of like turtle knee pads, just like we saw on the elbows. So we have those going on. And then the ankles and the feet do have a lot of flexibility to them. You wouldn't really need stands, and stands aren't possible because there's no peg holes on these. Uh, straighten him out a little bit there, but they do stand very, very well. Uh, Michelangelo especially, he's got big feet, big base. That's good design here. I would have been pretty mad if he had small and he just toppled over like a turtle would. Uh, it's really good. It looks good. So I like this Michelangelo. I like a lot of them. This one doesn't feel loose. I don't have any looseness anywhere on this like we've seen with some of the other ones in the past. Of course, we do have another Michelangelo, the one where he's dressed as Batman right here. Very consistent, same height, everything else. Uh, a lot of repaint, actually. It's M. You got the M for his uh, waist belt there. Same exact thing, pretty much. Different head, of course, the cape, uh, but a lot of similarities. And, you know, I get the most out of your molds. We talk about it all the time on the channel, and that's exactly what they're doing uh, with that one. But we can compare them to some other turtles as well. If he'll stand up straight there, we can get Leonardo. And like I said, Michelangelo just feels weird with him being small like that. And now that I think about this, we have an unboxed, uh, what was it, Batgirl and Donatello. So we still have two more weeks of these to go. Now that I think about it, you got Raphael, the big brute of the bunch. Apparently, he is the big guy. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen the movie. Haven't seen it. I want to see it. Just got to find it somewhere. I got to find it on one of these streaming services. I got to go to my wife and say, what do we have? We have a million streaming services. Where can I find this Turtles vs. Batman movie? But this looks okay. I wish Michelangelo was bigger, though. I don't know. I always just imagine my Turtles all the same. Michelangelo looks just very, very small here. He's just against Leonardo Raphael. Looks very out of scale. So that's weird. Maybe I just need to get used to the movie. Because in the movie, that's how they are. They aren't the same size for whatever reason. I don't know whose decision that was. But it was the wrong one. It was the wrong one. But now we turn our attention to Alfred. And we always need a good butler. Uh, I've always dreamed of a butler. Uh, I don't think that day is ever going to happen. But boy, you can dream. You should always have dreams. But he's very, very long. Very tall. Very lanky. Very skinny. Uh, Alfred's had many different incarnations throughout the years he's been like a tough dude that can fight right, right alongside batman he's been an old you know servant he's just had different incarnations and i don't know what this one's all about but he kind of looks like a a stuffy uh, uh a stuffy one stuffy stuffy is that a word for a butler a stuffy butler like he's you know turns his nose up on a lot of stuff is kind of what he seems like to me here uh but like i said very tall very lanky very skinny legs double jointed knees Got good articulation on the feet. Yeah, it's okay. You get some side to side. Very little, very minimal up and down, but a little bit of side to side. Uh, he can do pretty big splits, though, for the most part. That's more than most butlers can do. I've seen Mr. Belvedere. I've seen Lynn Belvedere going at it. He's not as flexible as uh, Alfred here. Uh, the head does move around. He's got his bald head going on. Got the gray on the side. He's got a kind of a pencil-thin mustache, but it's got a weird line to it with two little kind of dots inside his mouth, which looks a little funny. He does got his quite his uh, servant gear on. He's got the hands. We already went through his hands. He's got gloves on, white servant gloves. He's got two fists, so maybe he does throw down in a fight from time to time. He's got his reddish, uh, maroonish cummerbund, and then he's got his tails like a young penguin here. So he is ready to party. Uh, what are these shoes called? Like hush puppies or something like that? He's, he's ready to go. My dad used to wear these shoes back in the day, uh, so I've seen these before. No pegs on his feet. I don't know how well he'll stand for me. 
Well, he stands better than expected. I'm kind of surprised how well he actually stands there because he's such a tall, lanky, thin figure. Just a little bit strange. But you can put him next to Michelangelo. You can see that height difference. I mean, gosh, if he's supposed to be five feet in turtle lore, maybe he's smaller in this saga. Who knows? But five feet here, I mean, we're, we're like seven feet. Alfred's like uh, Wilt Chamberlain is what he exactly is right there. Uh, you get Batman next to him. He even towers over Batman. Yeah, he's much taller than Batman. So that's a little weird. Was Alfred that tall in the movie? One of you guys could probably help me out. I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, movie. I know some of you guys have commented on the past ones have said so. And then you put him with Raphael. Put Leonardo over here. And we already saw that one is the exact same as the other Michelangelo. So we're really starting to build out our universe of this turtle Batman saga. They're going to have one dedicated corner of a shelf for me. I'm probably going to split a shelf with them. And maybe the original Playmate Turtle, just the foursome of the turtles. I uh, gotta maximize your space. You guys know I'm all in on the cartoon NECA figures. I'm all in on the movie NECA figures. And then, of course, the Super 7 uh, Playmate uh, reimagined figures, the Ultimates. Uh, and these are gonna have a little corner of the puzzle. We'll see how that expands over the next year or two, as we seem to be all in on turtles on the channel uh, currently. Turtle Mania running free, and we're running free on a Turtle Tuesday. Unofficial, it's almost time to make it official, uh, but unofficial turtle tuesday unboxing and review but what do you guys think of this alfred and michelangelo figure did you pick them up back in the day did you pass i think we could all agree 11 dollars is a great deal for these i don't know about 50 55 dollars that's a a tough pill to swallow uh for me i don't know if i could do that i'm not sure if they're quite worth that much but 11 dollars definitely worth it definitely cool enough i just wish the scaling was different but once again they're going off the reference of the movie so that's my final thoughts. You give me your final thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. And of course, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and Patreon.com. Search Kyle. You can see the link in the description below. You can get this video and a lot of other videos early, weeks, sometimes months early. You support the channel and you get a lot of exclusive content as well. Uh, you guys also help me with my top fives on a Thursday, every Thursday on the channel, another tradition, along with Turtle Tuesday, Jack's Tuesday, Figure Hunt Friday, Weekly Purchases Saturday. We're really starting to break it all out by days here. But uh, hit up the Patreon, link in the description below, like I said. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, pick up a t-shirt, support the channel. So for Alfred and Michelangelo, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.